Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do affordable makeup, everything under $10, and it's all wet and wild. I'm excited to use this palette. It is the Coffee Cat palette, and it has so many fall colors. Do you see how pretty that is? Let me just open that up for you, actually. All those fall colors, I cannot wait to try that. Let's get started. I don't know where I am, I don't know where you take me, I don't know. The only thing that Wet n Wild didn't have or that I couldn't find was an eye primer. I may not have looked that hard because I may have forgotten, but I'm going to use their Photo Focus Concealer Corrector. That's what that looks like. It's a little bit on the dark side for me. Let's make it work. I'm going to prime the eyes. Take me. I mean, they're not really being primed. They're being, they're being concealed. And what that will really do is help to cover up all those veins if your primer itself doesn't work that way. I personally don't like using concealer to prime my lids. I feel like it doesn't do as good of a job, but it does an okay job. I'm going to use these Wet n Wild brushes. And I have a Wet n Wild beauty sponge. It's really cute so that you can see it's flat right here, which gives me that perfect application, but it's really fuzzy like the Juno the Juno sponges, just like that. I'm gonna make sure everything's smooth. So because I need to set that concealer, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Banana Photo Focus powder. It's kind of got like a yellow tint to it. I'm just gonna dab it on my eyes. It's already starting to crease. That is one thing you really need to set this because it will crease if you do not. And that will really help all the colors laid down nicely anyways. Now we go into Coffee Cat. I'm gonna go in with this third shade right here. That is called Make It A Double. And I'm gonna use that as my transition color. Let's see how these sh shadows do. I just follow your trail and I'm losing your mind and I'm losing your head. Now I'm going to go into Free Refills, which is this color right there. That really pretty mustard shade. I'm gonna go in that into my crease. Ooh, that color is nice. Very pigmented, easy to blend. God, I hope I'm in frame this whole freaking time. It has like that mustard color to it, but it's got more brown undertones than anything else. So I wanna kinda go fall. I'm gonna take this color right here, and that color is have the cough feels. <laughs> have the cough feels, get it? They're all cute. Ooh, that color is pretty. Pretty. Holy smokes. Holy pigment. Oh yeah, there is some fallout, so there it is powdery. It's a little, it's a little on the powdery side, but it's totally, it's, the, the colors are pretty. Very, very pigmented. I can't complain. I mean, it's pretty. I'm gonna try and play around with these shimmery shadows. So those are the shimmer shadows right there. Hope you can see that. These names. These names, I swear. So these are the three shimmer shadows that I'm kind of interested in doing. So we have like a berry color here, more of a mocha-ish color here, and a copper color here. I think I'm gonna use a copper and possibly this berry. See how that comes out. And these names are just, they're really, they're funny. No coffee, no worky. <laughs> That's the copper shade. So I'm gonna use no coffee, no worky, and Mocha me happy. So I'm gonna take this color, which is that berry color right there, which is kind of fall to me, and I'm gonna put that right here. Shimmers are always best used when you use your finger. So my finger didn't work that well because I can't get as precise as I want to get, so I have to go in with a flat shader, and the brushes that I got did not have a flat shader, so I'm gonna use my six plus flat shader brush. That's what I need right there. To get a little more precise, I feel like it needs a little help. Just a little help. Just to kind of foil it off. I'm going to use the Photo Focus Natural Finish. This is their setting spray. So I'm going to use that. Wet my brush. And then I'm going to go in with that shade again. Let's see, ooh, that smells good. It smells weird. It smells like something, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go in there with that. I'm gonna go in with Espresso Self right here. That's that color. And brighten up my inner corner. Not bad, 
had. Um, I did have to work these shimmer shadows a little more than I would have liked to, but under $10, it's not bad. The matte colors, those are super pigmented. They look gorgeous. So now I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm excited to try this actually. You know how I am with eyeliner. I know how I am with eyeliner. You do shake it, there's a little thing in there. On the box it says, 16 hour wear, breakup proof, waterproof, liquid eyeliner. It's cry proof, humidity proof, smudge proof, fade proof, and flake proof. That's a lot, it's a lot of proofs. really really easy it does have a brush tip and I love brush tips so that's really nice now my eyeliner is done and I'm gonna kind of go back with that darker shade because it kind of rubbed off a little bit or my eye ate it I don't even know but it kind of faded so I'm gonna go back with the darker shade that shade right here and warm it back up okay so I warm my eyes back up got a little bit darker on the outer edges and now I'm gonna go in with a brow all right, this is Wet n Wild's Retractable Brow Pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. It is supposed to be medium brown. All right, I'm back and my brows are filled. It looks, it doesn't look that bad actually, and it's not too super pigmented. It's more on the waxy side, but not as waxy as like a Anastasia Beverly Hills, but close. The spoolie side, however, it, it is rough, but I think it's like $3. So for $3, this is a steal. I think this is $3. I have to check that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer in the scent Cucumber. It says it blurs pores and all that good stuff, so let's check it out. Ah, oh, god dang it, and open it. Ooh, comes out green. Ooh, it smells very sweet. Oh, it's, it's very, it's very moisturizing. It's not as bad. I don't know how it's supposed to blur my pores, but it just feels like a serum or a moisturizer. Weird, this is very weird. It came out weird. I feel like it's not drying, so that's why I keep rubbing my face. <laughs> I wanna show you guys what this looks like. Okay, you ready for this? Cause when I poured this out, I was not ready for it. That, that is what it looks like. It's, it just looks like mashed peas. We're just gonna keep going. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And it says it's dewy, so which shouldn't look drying, which is good, just don't like drying. It has like this spatula looking thing on the end of it. What is that? There we go. It smells like nail polish. <coughs> oh my God. What does... Does yours smell like nail polish? Do you guys have this? It's fine. It's, it's very watery. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. It actually covered a lot more than I thought it was going to. It's a little light. It went on really, really sheer, but after using this sponge with the fuzziness on it, it helped to make it more, way more coverage than I thought it was going to be. So it's a good medium coverage. You can totally build this, by the way. Uh, I'm not gonna use any more because I think it looks great just the way it is. I'm not a really a full coverage person anyways. Now we're gonna try and use the concealer. I always have problems with concealer. But I'm just gonna put a tiny dot. <laughs> That actually went on pretty nice. I'm surprised. I am actually very impressed. I don't feel like that concealer was drying at all. So we'll see how, as I'm going through this, how well it wears. Now I have to set it though. So that might dry the shit out of it right there. But it's okay. We're just gonna go in with this banana color so that helps brighten the under eye. Give the illusion that you're more awake than you probably are. Why did I, I forgot to do my forehead, dude. Why didn't you guys freaking tell me? 
I would tell you if you had a bunch of shit that you didn't blend out, you know I'd tell you too. It's okay. I got it. I figured it out. Not bad, not bad. That banana powder actually helped to smooth my pores right here too, which is great. It's a little bit on the yellow side just because it's, it's used to brighten up the under eye specifically. But you may want to get a translucent one. I don't know if they actually had, I don't think they had a translucent powder. I think they only had banana, which is why I picked this up. But if you have a loose translucent powder, you can powder the rest of your face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And it looks like this but I'm just gonna use it as a bronzer. I don't have to contour with this. Contouring just kind of helps you define your cheeks, your chin, and your forehead area. But I'm just gonna use it as a bronzer first and see how that goes. I did notice when I was putting on my bronzer that the Photo Focus Foundation is starting to gather right here around my nose. So I'm gonna re-blend that out and we'll see if it does it again. That primer did absolutely nothing for my face though. It didn't, it didn't do anything. Primer was a dud. Now I'm gonna go in with the blush. It's kind of light for me. I don't know, I hope it turns out, but it's their Ombre Color Icon and it's in the color Princess Daiquiris. I don't even know if this is gonna show up, it's so light. So it showed up okay. The one thing that I'm noticing though is either the foundation or it is this blush but once I put this blush over it, my pores look so big, so I don't know. It's gonna keep going and see how it goes. Another thing with this foundation that I've noticed, even though I set it on my forehead, I have a lot of lines in my forehead. It's just because I'm very expressive. I can't help it. I'm expressive, guys. If you notice, I'm always constantly lifting my brows and going like, ugh, just, it's a, it's a lot, but it's gathering right in my wrinkles. <laughs> so I'm gonna smooth that out. I'm just smoothing it out with their blender. This is not going the way I wanted it to. But I do know that their highlight is gorgeous. Well, the last time I tried it anyways. It is this highlight right here. It's so pretty. It's a little bit on the dark side for me now. It used to not be. This is their P75 brush. I'm gonna use that to go in with this. Yeah, it's a little darker. I think this is like $3. It's still a great highlight for the price point. Funny thing though, it's not performing the way I want it to. And I think it has a lot to do with my foundation because I've used it before and it's not done this before. All right, now I'm gonna go in with their Breakup Proof. I'm gonna use this in my waterline and possibly to tightline my upper for lash line. We'll see. We'll see how nice it goes on first and whether or not I want to put that in my upper waterline. Okay, that definitely went on not as dark and black as I was hoping it would go on, but it's okay. I'm moving on. <laughs> I am moving on because this whole situation right here is not going the way I want it to go. But, I mean, that's how you figure out if you're going to like this makeup or not. Better me than you. Better me than you, right? I think I cry in every video. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line using that same rusty color right here to kind of tie everything in. So I was going back in with my black eyeliner pencil and the tip broke off. Literally just broke right off. It is gone. It is gone. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna push it up again. And I did not have it out that far. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? So what's kind of funny is that after that tip broke and I warmed it up on my hand again to kind of get it to be a little bit more on the brown side so I don't poke my eye out, it actually went on nicer. <laughs> All right, so I picked up three of the Coffee Cap cute little lip glosses and the caps are super cute. I didn't realize how pink this one was, otherwise I would not have picked it up, but I think it was only like a few dollars. But look at the, there's cats on the cap. It is super cute. Be cuter if they were drinking coffee. They are drinking coffee. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, that cat's drinking coffee. I'm gonna go in with the darker color and see how that goes first. Nothing smells like coffee, but it's fine. This actually does kind of smell like coffee. Maybe it's just me wanting to smell like coffee, but 
it smells like coffee more and more I am looking at this foundation the more and more I'm hating it and my under eyes are getting very very dry and I think it's from the powder probably so this combo right here is a very nice combo I just put this all over my lips and then I brightened it with this one right in the center just the center and we're good now I've got to set my face I'm just that mist is super nice do you see this that is a nice mist and it smells kind of good I don't know what that is but it smells good it's a very powerful mist so make sure you keep it away a fairly good amount away from your face so I set my face and I'm ready for some mascara the reason why you set your face before putting on mascara is because let me just tell you it could just be a fat mess a fat mess I got the mascara plus fiber extension kit so it has a primer and a mascara so we'll see how it goes I don't have my lashes are not that great we're gonna try it out why not who better not to try it out on than someone that has absolutely no, whoa, I am not putting that on my eye. Do you see the fibers on that are real? Holy, it looks like cotton at the end of that. I am not putting that on my eye. What is that? It's, it's like it, it just fell off in a fluff of cloud. All right, I'm going to do this for you guys. Tested and approved, supposedly. 100% said it was easier to apply than false lashes. 93% saw excellent volume in their lashes, and 93% saw excellent length in their lashes. Step one, prime your lashes with mascara. So we're gonna prime the eyes with the mascara, and then we're gonna go in with cotton. <laughs> Step two, build more lashes with incredibly lengthening, flexible nylon fibers. I think they're talking about the cotton that comes out of this thing. Oh, I don't go blind. I'll let you know. Now I gotta go with step three, which is seal it in again with your mascara. Here we go. As I applied the second coat of the mascara, most of it, most of the fibers look like it came off on the wand. I mean, they look a little longer, but that's also because I put in two coats of mascara. But anyway, now I'm gonna go in with the skinny mascara, the skinny wet and wild mascara for the lower lash line. I don't have any lashes on the lower lash line either, which is why I fill in my lower line all the time with eyeliner may not be able to even see a difference but I'm gonna try wand is very skinny is it skinny enough to get those hairs on the lower lash line we'll see I can't see because there's cotton in my eye not working out so I don't know if you can see this but <laughs> this wand is like the size of my eye so I can't even get into the lashes I'm trying I tried so hard I got some right on my nose okay guys I am done this is this is it. Full face of Wet n Wild. My thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts on this entire collection. Let's start off with the primer. The primer, and I think I'll leave the prices somewhere on the screen so at least you guys know how much this stuff costs. It really wasn't expensive. Everything was either under 5 or under 10. This did absolutely nothing. I don't even know what this did. You know, I think I have fibers in my lashes. In my eye. I have fiber in my eye. It didn't help blur my pores or anything, but it was moisturizing. The green was scary. The Coffee Cat palette is super cute. I do think this is worth picking up. The mattes are really nice, easy to blend. The shimmers weren't as shimmery as I'd like them to be, but I mean, it's under $10. It's not that bad. The mattes are easy to blend and it's really fall. Like it screams fall to me. The Photo Focus foundation, I have to keep in mind, I am a bit older, so my skin is a little bit different. More smile lines more expressions that are in my face. So this foundation just may not look good on me. It's okay. It bunches up in my smile lines and it really, it accentuates a little bit of my texture. I think the worst thing though is that it really settles in these creases that I have. I did blend it out with the blender. I really like this blender by the way. I don't remember how much it costs, but I really do like this. This is, this is probably what saved a lot of this look. I really have a lot of fiber in my eye. 
I'm gonna have to take this off like as soon as I can. The liquid eyeliner, this was a win in my book. I love that it is a brush tip applicator. That is like one of my favorite things. It went on super easy, no problems. Didn't go on as dark on the first swipe, but you can you can just build it up and it works fine. I mean, it's $3 and probably some change. I don't even know how much this cost. Everything is $3. Then the concealer, this was not bad. I think what ruined the concealer for my face was the banana powder. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it's not, it's not super drying like that Beauty Blender Bounce. That was holy crap. It's so thick that I'm, I'm not reviewing that, but I'm just saying it's not like that at all. It's a little bit thinner consistency, but it covers really well. I do like it. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more to see if it's worth it, but I mean it's probably three dollars Then you have this which is the banana powder. I think it was a little a little more on the dry side I actually liked the contouring palette. It is a nice shade and Gives you this banana powder on the side so you can cut your cheeks if you want to Don't cut them. Okay, the highlighting powder did not perform as well as it did before and I honestly think it has a lot to do with the foundation that I'm wearing. Don't, don't just, I, these are usually really, really good. So don't discredit this immediately. All the mascaras, complete fail. I hated them. <laughs> the lash wand on this is so freaking long. Look how long that lash wand is. Can you guys, I mean, it goes across my entire eye. Like I can't get to the lower lash line because of how long it is. And I think they have shorter ones. I think L'Oreal has one. I don't know. But this is like straight up cotton. I'm gonna show you. Ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Clumps. I don't know if you can see that, but it is it is too much. I mean, they just got in my eye and irritate some. I don't. I wouldn't recommend it at all. I think that the ones the mascara that has built-in fibers already works really really well. The falsies by Maybelline. That's a good one. The glosses are super cute and I did like them. So these were a win for me. They, I think the colors are gorgeous. The breakup proof black crayon was pretty good. It was okay. I mean, the tip fell off. So the tip fell off and then it started working a lot better. There's that. I think for a few dollars, it's fine. The brow product worked really well. I like the color. It went on pretty easy. It wasn't too soft. I think the only thing I didn't like was the brush because that brush was rough. Holy moly, was rough. The brushes, in my opinion, these are freaking cute. They did the job. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. They're pretty soft. Um, I probably have to break them in a little bit better. That might be it, but no, this one wasn't, this one's not as soft and as blendy as some of them. I just don't know if I would recommend the entire kit per se. I think a lot of these brushes, like this brush was great. I loved it, it's very, very soft. This blending brush with that tip worked really well. So I did like that. And I think that was it, guys. I think that was the rest of everything. I used everything and some fails, some were great, some weren't so great. I hope this helps you with any decisions you're on the fence with. Maybe you were looking at this palette. I know I was, that's why I picked it up. When Wild used to be, it's so nostalgic for me. It used to be like 99 cents at, I don't know, freaking 7-Eleven. What's what all the cool kids were wearing? Well, you know what? When Wild came back. They came back and they're, I think they're doing great. I think for beginners, this could be a starting point for you. But I do like the palette. I do like the highlighter. So there are some wins here. The, there's just a couple of things that were a complete fail for me. So I'm sorry if that is disappointing. It's disappointing to me too. All right guys, that's it. I'm wrapping this up. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. I'll catch you in my next video. I'm hoping to upload every Sunday. I'm gonna kind of put myself on a schedule. We'll see how that goes. Sundays for now. So hopefully I'll catch you in my next video soon. Bye. I just stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> He's ruining everything. My cat is crying right now. So, looks like that. <laughs>